What is up you guys? Welcome back to another one. If you are new to the channel, I am Gold Pony. I do new car truck SUV reviews on YouTube. And today we are in the new 2021 Mitsubishi Mirage courtesy of Platinum Mitsubishi in Mechanicsburg, PA. For more information on their inventory, please feel free to check out the link in the description box below. And so I am in this one today because for one, I have never reviewed the Mirage in all of my years of doing this so far. And number two, out of the 600 plus cars that I've reviewed this is actually now officially the least expensive vehicle I have ever reviewed in my history so that is quite exciting for me so anyways and actually to go along with that you still of course do have Mitsubishi's warranty as well which is America's best warranty being five years 60,000 mile bumper to bumper 10 years 100,000 miles on the powertrain so you got some peace of mind there as well of course and so in this video I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering for ride quality sound system even exhaust clips so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing and so there will of course be several different trim levels for the 2021 mirage first one is the es starting at fourteen thousand two hundred and ninety five dollars then there is the le for sixteen thousand two hundred and twenty dollars carbonite edition for sixteen thousand nine ninety five and lastly the se for seventeen thousand four hundred and forty five dollars and by the way we do have that base trim level being the es today in case anybody was curious but powering this little guy is going to be a 1.2 liter naturally aspirated inline three cylinder engine putting out 76 horsepower at 6,000 rpm 74 pound feet of torque coming in at 4,000 rpm power is sent to the wheels through a five speed manual which comes standard on the es trim level only the trim level that we have today or a cvt which comes standard on all other trim levels and is optional on the es that we have today and for anybody who was curious we do actually have that cvt transmission here today but zero to 60 all in all comes in at around 10.6 seconds if you were curious Curious. and MPG numbers coming in at 33 in the city 41 on the highway for the manual but 36 city 43 then on the highway for the CVT that's actually really impressive but I guess it makes sense but anyways taking regular unleaded fuel of course all right you guys and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you say let's put this thing to the test and let's do a quick little acceleration test here and let's see how quickly we can get the new Mirage here up to speed in three two one All right, so, all right, you know how you guys, I usually say you're not gonna have any issues with merging onto the highway. This one, be sure you can get up to speed because I gotta be honest, this is, uh, this might be the slowest car I've ever driven, <laughs> but that's pretty much all I gotta say about that. But anyways, to go along with that acceleration, as always, braking is equally important. So up front, you will find nine inch ventilated front discs. In the back, seven inch rear drum brakes. As far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes, that is going to come in at 127 feet. And as far as the braking feel goes, definitely on the softer side without a doubt i wouldn't have minded if they of course firmed up this braking feel a little bit better but so then touching on suspension and handling up front you're going to get a mcpherson strut front suspension in the back torsen beam rear axle as far as ride quality goes it is a subcompact you are going to feel a little bit more of the road than let's say uh a non-subcompact i guess you could say so you can feel a decent amount of the road i will say that as far as steering feel goes it's not bad it does tend to lean a little bit on the looser side and for the segment there are better options out there for let's say i don't know the toyota yaris definitely more expensive with that one i will say that but much better steering feel I really do wish mitsubishi would have tightened up the steering feel a little bit here in this one but as far as cabin noise goes you get a little bit of road noise at higher speeds you definitely get a whole lot of engine noise when you're really hitting the gas in this thing but other than that, it is doable. I personally would have no issues with the cabin noise. Now touching on visibility, this was 100% on point here in the Mirage. And I did want to also mention there is a Mirage G4 that is going to be the sedan version. Definitely not going to have any issues of visibility in that one either. So either way that you go, visibility is 100% on point. But that about rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's now go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 Mitsubishi Mirage. All right, and so here she is, you guys. The new 2021 Mitsubishi Mirage finished in mystic black metallic. 
in case anybody was curious of our exterior color name. But anyways, let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Chrome accents on the front grille coming with the ES and LE trims and then black accents, of course, coming with the carbonite. Red accents then coming with the SE, with the SE being kind of the sportier trim level of the Mirage, in case anybody was curious about that. To the sides, halogen headlights coming with the ES, LE, and carbonite trim levels. Automatic feature coming with those headlights, of course, meaning when it starts to get dark at night, they will turn on automatically for you there. And then full LED headlights actually coming with the SE, so meaning high beam and low beam. So that's kind of cool, but LED daytime running lights also coming with the SE and then fog lights down below as well and if you did not get those fog lights you guys can see it's actually replaced by simple black plastic and that is what we have here on our base trim level being the es trim level so anyways it actually doesn't look bad they could probably narrow up that headlight design look up front and probably put leds all the way around but then again this is a very affordable car so in order to cut costs that's probably one of the things that they did left at halogens but anyways still not that bad of a look on the front end let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of this one all right so now since we are around to the side body colored window surrounds do come standard body colored door handles for all trim levels as well and that's something i always like to mention although it seems common sense but with budget cars you don't always get that so i have to mention it body colored folding side mirrors coming with all trim levels with integrated turn signals for the se trim level only then take a look down at the wheel configurations 14 inch steel wheels with covers coming with the ES 14 inch alloy wheels coming with the LE and carbonite and then 15 inch alloys coming with the SE trim level and of course we'll actually get some carbonite badging carbonite edition badging if you were to go with that specific trim level as well but perhaps my favorite little accent piece on the side of this one is going to be those turn signal indicators found on the front fenders it's definitely a JDM thing Japanese cars have done that for quite a while and I do like that the Mirage still has that so it's a very cool look but anyways that about rounds out the side of the Mirage let's now go ahead and make our way to the back this one all right so now since we are around back you do have that black antenna all the way to the top there just below that rear spoiler with the integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper and here's a little interesting tidbit of the mirage even on the base trim level here of the es we still get LED taillights that actually comes standard across the board so gotta applaud Mitsubishi for that because that's going to give you a lot better extra illumination at night so you're less likely to get rear-ended in this thing so that is pretty darn cool I do like that Mitsubishi left it LEDs all the way around and in the middle of it all you do have a slight rear diffuser there and possibly one of the best parts about the back there you guys see that license plate Platinum Mitsubishi actually had custom license plates made I think that's so cool Mitsu 5 I love that anyways then to the side, you do have a single exhaust outlet tucked away. So having said that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip. All right, so now since we are around back of the Mirage, when it comes to opening that rear hatch, it is a manual hatch back there. So simply just lift up underneath of that rear handle there and it will open up for you. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 17.1 cubic feet back there. If that was not enough space, of course, those rear seats do fold down, giving you a little bit extra space then if you needed it. Did want to mention there is cargo lighting back there, of course. And if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you'll actually find a spare tire back there in case you were curious about that. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that is going to come in at 34.2 inches. So for reference, I mean, even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. And in case anybody was curious, there is no center armrest or charging ports or ventilation. You don't really need all of that when you're at this particular price point. But so then making our way up to the front seats, manually adjustable cloth seats do come standard on every single trim level across the board. Did want to mention though, if you were to go with the SE trim level, that will add to that a cloth leather at finish and actually heated front seats then as well and overall as far as seat comfort goes i will say the bottom portion is actually not all that bad but the back portion since there is no power lumbar adjustments or any kind of lumbar adjustments for that matter quite honestly these are definitely not the most comfortable seats i've ever sat in and i'm trying to put that as gently as i can so seat comfort could be better but i will say this vehicle i feel like when it comes to seat comfort would tailor more towards maybe shorter people however for my six foot american self 
not the most comfortable seats out there. But anyways, then when it comes to this steering wheel, it is tilt, it is not telescoping, in case you were curious about that. It is wrapped in urethane, unless you go with the SE trim level, and then it will be wrapped in leather. So I've had no issues with the steering wheel. It's perfectly fine. But then make your way to the startup. Let me start by showing you guys the key here. You do have your Mitsubishi logo on the one side. When you flip it over, lock and unlock. A pretty basic key, and there's pluses and minuses to that. The plus side is, when you lose them in Ocean City, Maryland, it's not gonna cost a whole lot to replace them because it is such a basic case. So that I am a fan of. Not saying that I've done that before, but I have done that before. But anyways, it is actually a push button start if you were to go with the SE trim level then, but we don't have that obviously. So all I'm going to do here is simply put my foot on the brake and simply turn the key. But then upon startup, when it comes to the gauges here, the tachometer is all the way to your left, speedometer is front and center. And then you have some indicator lights found all the way to the right, but trip A, trip B can be be found down below along with what gear you were in and how much fuel you have left until you hit empty essentially when i sat in this thing the gauge cluster does look like it's maybe from the late 90s early 2000s maybe something you would find in like an old acura integra or something like that so kind of took me back there which uh i appreciate the nostalgia but i know mitsubishi has much better gauge clusters out there. Just look at the new Outlander, for example. But anyways, then take a look at overall interior quality. We do, again, have the base trim level being the ES trim level. So let me just start with the SE trim level. It's going to add a leather wrap shift knob, some carbon patterned window switch panels, and a gloss black shift panel as well but overall when it comes to our trim level being the es a lot of black plastics a lot of hard touch material like just above the passenger side glove box here you do have a 12 volt power outlet you do also have a usb charging port which you got to appreciate at this price point i will say that just in front of that usb charging port you have a little bit of storage just behind that you do have dual cup holders and just behind all of that you do have a manual parking brake you never find this old school parking brake anymore usually they're electromechanical on just about every vehicle out there right now just behind that you have probably the smallest amount of storage within that center armrest i have ever seen it is quite adorable if i'm being honest it's so dinky i like it <laughs> but anyways one thing i do want to give mitsubishi credit for because you don't always find this you do have automatic climate control for all trim levels so therefore i can just set a temperature that i want it to be at and it is going to reach that temperature as opposed to the manual dials that you typically found back in the day so some cars still do have that so i got to give mitsubishi credit for putting the automatic climate control in the mirage for all trim levels so i do like that but anyways now let's take a look at the tech display here which actually they did pretty darn good at seven inch color touchscreen display coming with bluetooth and audio streaming also coming with android auto and apple carplay meaning if you have a smartphone simply hook it up to the mirage and therefore you have free navigation found up on that tech display there you can also check out your radio information up there of course as well and by the way when it comes to the sound system on the Mirage, there is one of them. It is for speakers, of course, because this is a smaller vehicle. So having said that, what do you guys say? Let's give it a go here. Let's turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. All right, so I had that cranked all the way up, believe it or not. And there isn't a whole lot of loudness, quite honestly. It's probably the quietest sound system I have ever heard it's either that or I am officially deaf at this point, which I do not want to be the case quite yet. So not a whole lot of clarity going on with that one. Definitely not a whole lot of bass. It's probably the most minimalist sound system I have ever heard, if I'm being honest. And honestly, wouldn't have minded if there was at least a six speaker sound system available for this one. And again, it's a small vehicle, so you don't need anything crazy, but still that sound system is not quite good enough for the Mirage in my personal opinion. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on that infotainment screen is when you do put the Mirage in reverse, you actually do have a rear view camera coming standard across the board, taking up the entire screen at that, which isn't always the case, so that's pretty cool. Letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so first, let me start by saying front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. Also a driver's knee airbag as well. In the back, you're going to have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard, believe it or not on the Mirage, a forward collision mitigation system with pedestrian detection and also hill start assist. And then if you were to go with that SE trim level, you're also going to get lane departure warning then as well and so overall when it comes to my final thoughts here of the 2021 mirage 
America's best warranty is a big old selling point to start with. That's five years, 60,000 miles, 10 years, 100,000 miles on the powertrain. That's wonderful. Actually, pretty good styling for a hatchback. I do like the styling, believe it or not. So I think it looks pretty darn good, in my opinion. Starting price at under $15,000. That's essentially unheard of these days. So if you wanted to save yourself a heck of a lot of money for spending money on other things that you may enjoy, this actually might be a good option because this is a very inexpensive, very affordable vehicle. So I will say that I'll give it that more cargo space actually than you would probably think. I was kind of impressed there to be honest. As far as room for improvement goes, probably the slowest vehicle I've ever tested in the last 600 plus cars that I have tested. So it is kind of slow. CVT of course is a bit emotionless. The four speaker sound system is probably the worst I've ever heard. And quite honestly, there is some other competition not quite as inexpensive as the Mirage and that might be the big selling point. It's inexpensive and America's best warranty, but if it were me in this particular segment, I'd probably go with the Hyundai Accent, although the Toyota Yaris is a pretty good option as well, but that one's that was kind of expensive for its class. It might be the most expensive for its class. So overall, when you take into account the price, the warranty and the exterior styling, it's not all that bad. But anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Let me know what you think of the new Mirage in the comments section below. Feel free to follow me on social media if you wanted to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.